Oh, no, I See, this girl, you get long. Hey! You just get, I need to carry this girl this, this afternoon, eh? Uh -huh. I'll chop her like carrot. I'll go burn her like. I, 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 I just thank her. God say, I don't catch her this afternoon. But look, I ask you. This one who they pursue this girl. If you see her, what do you go to her? They ask me what to go do her. Like they follow the pursuer. Why the pursuer? Yeah. We go burn her my life now. What do they talk now? Jungle justice. What do they talk? See, because say she thief. Blow, blow. What we say? She blow and throw. This thing go blow. Boss. Now you want me to go kill this girl? This beautiful girl. The crazy. In blood, no go take my head. I no go follow you go anywhere. Waka. Look at this boy. I say waka there. Why you love evil? Evil, like evil is evil. No matter how you paint it. Uh -uh. This guy get this guy get love. All right, today go go. You go go go. Come on here. Go, 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 go. After me, they want to leave. They're after my life. After your life. Yes, mama. Why would they be outside your life? After your life, Zina. Tell me. Huh? You've succeeded in turning this town upside down. Mm -hmm. With your character. Why, Zina? What have we done to you, Zina? Because, eh? What is it? Hey, come out. Come no, out. No, 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 no. Don't lock the gate. Don't lock the gate. I cannot come outside. Don't tell me. Tell me where that. you got that balloon from. Mama cannot come outside, oh. They cannot come outside. They want to kill your only child. Mama cannot come outside. Please go and lock the gate. Hey! 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 Zina, what to say? I just want to I'm all right. How are you? Fine. Mommy. My dad, we come here. <laughs> How are you, mom? Oh my God, mom, you look so beautiful. You never grow old. For oh, real? Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, please don't wreck her bow. She will never accept that she's enjoying my Dad, mom. what are you doing to her? She looks so beautiful. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Some... <laughs> <laughs> I'm quiet. Same here, my darling. Oh, let's go inside. Okay. Dad, how have you been? Cool. Everything okay? Oh. I'm, I'm happy. Been to... I've been good. I've been good. I've been good. It's just. Uh... Now, open this door now. Open the door for me to come in and cook. Your dad will soon be back. Yeah. Hmm. Patricia. Patricia. You need to have seen the heat ignited by that daughter in the whole land. The whole town is on fire. All thanks to the chief you gave birth to. Clement, what kind of talk is this? Your daughter went to a provision shop 
and picked a pack of balloons. Balloons? You mean she went right inside a provision store and picked a pack of balloons? Hey! What does she need it for? They are for children, I didn't know. Mommy, I was here. Zina ran in like a wild animal that cut loose of his chain and straight in here locked the door. I've been pleading with her ever since for hours now to please open the door. For me to cook. Look at the beans that I was picking. It's still outside there. For me to go in and cook. Patricia, are you saying that Zina is inside the room? Who, Who has kept being nabbed by the mobs? Right down there. She ran in here, locked the door. She has refused. I've been pleading with her to please open the door. Hey! Zina, open this door. Oh! Kind of she has to come out shame. and tell me the name of the madness she's suffering from. Oh! The kind of shame this girl has brought on this family. Rubbed on my face, her mother. Ah! How will I ever erase it? Anytime I pass that or walk along the street, all they do is point at me. Look at her. Look at her, the mother of the beautiful thief. That's what I'm now known for. All thanks to Zina. Zina, come out though. Come and tell me the kind of spirit, the name of the madness you are suffering from. Pata, 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 pata. Hey! Made it. I'm glad you liked it. No, it was um Erica that prepared the meal. Who's Erica? Now, son, are you going to sit and pretend like you don't know who Erica is? Hmm? <laughs> I don't like, know who that is. I just I'm just enjoying the food. I haven't had this in a The time. same girl I've been telling you about. Have you forgotten? Mom, I can't remember. However, just can I just eat my food? Thank you. Hmm. Madabuchi. <laughs> you need to see that girl. She's very pretty. From a well reputable family. Believe me. You will love her. Oh, I still don't know her. So, Dad. There's something I want you to understand. Okay. It's in line with our culture and tradition. Without you doing the marriage ritual, there is no way you will be coronated as a crown prince. It's, it's as simple as that. Of course. You must perform the marriage ritual so as to, you know, benefit from the royalty. It's as simple as this. This Erica we're talking about is a third daughter of my good friend. You know him, Senator Alex Onyalo. She's well schooled and a TV presenter by Asalex. Very beautiful girl. Dad. Mom. Hmm? Do you know it is inappropriate to ask me to get married against my wish? I've just told you everything about the tradition. It looks like you're forcing me to get married and I'm not ready to get married. I beg your pardon? You are not ready? No. See, son, you don't even have a choice. Believe me, it's a necessity. Mom, Dad, if I understood you correctly, did you mean I won't or I can't enjoy the benefits of royalty except I get married? The law is not ours. It's the tradition. Tradition. Wow. Just eat your food, honey. Let him be for now. Because I think I love you. I know. 
Yeah, but I'm trying to wonder what, what are the benefits of royalty? Open the door now, your daddy is back. Eh? Here. Yeah. Open this door. See now, open the door now, your daddy is back. Eh? You are sorry. You are sorry. The last time you cried your eyes out, you promised never to touch anything that doesn't belong to you. What's happening now? Kai, Zina, what is your problem? Man, I'm sorry, I did not do it on purpose. I did not steal it intentionally. Oh. It's the work of the devil. Mm -hmm. What you keep repeating? The last time you were not for taking one, one leg of self as Zina. I asked you, what did you need it for? One, not even two. You said the same thing. Why have you chosen to rob me? What on the face of this family, Zina? Oh, I'm getting one. What did I do? Yeah. Hey, what is it? Mom, sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> now tell me, what do you want this place for? You just went into a provision store and picked up this family. You just make it. What do you want it for, Mom? Mama, nothing. Oh, nothing. You know that I want to see you. It's just that sometimes I just have urge to steal something. Especially something I'm not in need of. Something I don't want to use. I don't know. Mm. Oh! My enemies are at it again. I have said it a million times before now. Your daughter is possessed of a banjo spirit. Mm. No. I don't understand. A banjo spirit. Uh -huh. That was exactly what uh, Neoku said. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm thinking of something. What about? Yes, tell me. How are you sure Neoku did not initiate her into their witchcraft coven? What did you just stop that? How can you accuse the old woman? I'm suspecting her. I don't even know what to think again, honestly. Uh, what I suggest is that we're going to take her to the pastor. Hmm. Pastor, you said? Yes. Hey. Have you forgotten what happened the last time I took her to Pastor, mm, no, Prophet Elijah for deliverance? My Prophet, please, you need to help me. I'm in trouble because my daughter, please, I don't know who has sworn that my daughter will have to die like a foul. Because... Is there an attack on her life recently? Ah, attack? Demonic, I presume. She always has this surge that passes through her. Just moving her, it's like a force. Always picking things she does not even need. She does not. Because, Lord of Jesus. <sighs> Look at her. Look at her. Hmm? Wounds, injuries, sustained. How? Oh, please help me, my prophet. Several times she has escaped being lynched by an angry mob. Yeah? I did not give her only child. She's an only child. Yeah? All because she cannot keep her hands. Eh? She can't talk in her hands. Always looking for what to keep. Things she does not even have need for. Because. Uh, Sister Patricia. Yeah? This is a spiritual attack. Ash, Sakara. Ash, Zazari, Baba Vida. Ah! What's a spirit? Ah, ah! Yir Baba Siri Baba Karabazara Bale Yilabas. Ah, Baba Sumaranda. 
Oh, sh oh sh she was initiated when she was in primary school by one of her classmates. Uh -huh. You're very right. Hmm? Because she started stealing at a very tender age. Oh. Stop, Patricia. She needs a serious deliverance. Oh. Jesus. To be able to, to, to separate her mm -hmm. from those, from the married kingdom where she was initiated. Ah. Ah. See her being tied to a stick under the water. Oh, please. My prophet, lose that. You have to lose that. Lose that. Immediately after the heart, she feels remorseful and ashamed. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And she would shed tears all day. Cries uncontrollable. Yet she can't stop. Because. 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 demon in this body. Residing in this body. You tormenting the life of daughter of Zion. As I speak to you, hear me and hear me clearly. I said, leave this body in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. This body is the body of Christ. Amen. The body is the body of the, is the temple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I said, leave the body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You demon, yeah, it's not your home. And I say that you leave this body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I cast every demon in your body. You marry spirit. You disturbing spirit. You stealing spirit. I said, go! Amen. Go! In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I cast every demon. You marry spirit. You marry spirit in this body. If I be a man of God, I said, go! Let this go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I know who you are. Yes, I know who you are. You are in the of devil. The devil that is destroying the body. The devil comes to steal, to destroy, and to kill. But Jesus Christ come to give life. Come to give the sin and the life. You want? You are free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare, if I be a man of God, if I be a man of God, I said you should be set free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If I be a man of God, I decree get out of this body. I decree get out of this body. If I was called on a very godly hour, I I pray that it is just for you. I said, go away, go away. Was that in there? No, I don't understand what I said. What was what? Why the cry? You were crying all through the deliverance session. Mama, see, I was just being emotional. I just want God to show me mercy and heal me. I'm tired of this thing. Eh? I always feel ashamed whenever I do stuff like this. Does it then mean that you did not see or feel anything during the prayers? I did not feel anything, no. Neither did I see anything. All I know that God will do something. Hmm? He is the impossibility specialist. He'll do something. Don't worry, my dear. Let's get going. All right.
tie here. Does it mean that the tie just develop wings and fly out, fly from the office? Does that mean that when I was conducting deliverance on that girl, she, she stole my tie? Oh my God, that, that girl has a big problem. A pretty girl. I pray God delivers her. Patricia, your daughter stole my tie. I kept on the table. My prophet, how do you mean? Not... I kept the tie on my table when I was praying for her. I could not find the tie. You mean you can't find your tie? Yes, and your office there. Exactly. Please, she's not with anything else. Please, you have to ask her if she is with my tie. from a man of God. Okay, my prophet, my prophet, I will do just that. <sighs> Tell me, Zina, did you pick the Where is the tie? Where is the prophet's tie? Did you pick the uh, the, the, the tie from the office? Hey! Hey! So it's true. Happened with Prophet Elijah's office, and I just telling you, how do I go about telling people about all this shameful predicaments of my daughter? Patricia, I am not people, she's my daughter. So now that you know all this, what do we do? She is possessed of a banjo spirit. Oh. I'm not sure this has anything to do with being possessed or being initiated, honestly. Remember, she started stealing as a child. Yes, she Even up till now, she still picks things, meat from my box of soup. And you hid all this from me. You hid it from me. How? How do I go about telling all these tales of war of my only child? Just think about it. Try and continue. I'm acting back. And all suggestions are pointing to one direction. Which is? They say she is possessed of a binder spirit. But you, what do you think? They might be right. There's one prophet that they suggested where she will take her to. She will be disconnected from the water spirit. Talk to me, your mother. Are you an Obanje? Man. Mama, what is that? I mean, all these people that come to you when you are alone, are they the ones 
pushing or directing you to do all these negative things you do. Picking things that don't belong to you. Mama, Mama nobody is telling me anything. Nobody is doing, I'm not seeing anybody. Nobody is telling me anything. I've told you before, I just have the urge to steal something that is not my own. Something I don't use. Something that is not beneficial to me. Hi. Hmm. So what do we do? Well, I'm finally back. Good to be back home. No place like home. I enjoyed the food. Come to think of it, I haven't had food that good in a while. Oh, that reminds me. I need to call Oscar. He needs to know I'm back into the country. Oh, he's going to be very surprised. Hello? Hey, Oscar. What's up? It's me, Prince. Prince Madabuchi, yes. What's up, bro? Oh, yes, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back home. Yeah, I'm in the palace right now. That's, that's an amazing idea. Just come. I'm here. Okay. Okay. See you. See you when you come. Alright. Take care. Bye, my guy. Alright. Yeah. You don't know, but you're picking pieces of meat. Yeah, but I mean, what do you want to do with it? Mama, mama, please, 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 please. Something, something, eh, something pushed me. Something asked me to come and collect the meat before. Something asked you. Yes. Something pushed you. Yes. Now I want to know that thing. What is that thing? How can you do Tell me the name. I want to see that thing. <laughs> What does it look like? Oh, I don't know. I don't you don't know. Azina. Well, meat. Mm -hmm. of food. Mm -hmm. I'm cooking food for the entire family. Including you. Mm -hmm. So, it's the essence of this. The meat is not yet done. Eh? Will you eat it? Too? What is it? Mama, please. Mama, please believe me. Believe me when I say I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I believe you. It's just that I want to know. I want to know what is that thing that is always pushing you to do negative things. It never pushes you to do the right thing. It's always one negative thing or the other. What will you do with that? Mama, I don't see anything. I don't know what nobody is telling me anything. It's just a thought that comes into my head and it comes with, with the force and it pushes me to take something. Oh. Oh, my, oh, my, oh. 
<laughs> I think your father is right. Whatever is wrong with you is spiritual and we will handle it that way. We're going to see a prophetess. Ah, uh, no, no prophetess. No prophetess. No, don't worry, don't worry. Just go to your room. Go to your room. Go to your room. Go to your room. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know. Prince, you are a very handsome man. You are educated, well learned. As a matter of fact, you have traveled the world and you have seen virtually all the continents in the world. I don't think there's any maiden in this kingdom that wouldn't want to make you your groom, or rather, your bride. <laughs> Oscar. Different strokes for different folks. How do you mean? <sighs> Never mind. It's a story for another day. Okay. Eve, what's up? It's been a long time. How have you been? Yeah, I'm well. It's really been a long time. Oh, yes. What's happening? Nothing much. Good to have you back. Great. Thank you. <laughs> I thought both of you were married. Um. What's happening? Yeah, maybe you should ask your friend. Well, we've been working on some things and a few things here and there. Is it money? Hey. Is oh, money holding you back? Oh, why would you say that? But you know, you and I know that I can as well pay her bride price. Money has never been the problem. Oscar, I'm willing to give you a lot of money if money is the problem. Oh. That's so nice of you. Thank you. Well, um, Prince, I just said that money is not a problem. I mean, I can always afford her bride price. If money is the problem, I would definitely tell you. Oscar. I feel for her. Are you comfortable with the delay? What's happening? <laughs> My friends, I'm not in on this. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with your friend. It's been over seven years, right? Well, I just said to you that we've been working on something. Babe, I mean, haven't we been working on something together? Okay. Oscar. Eve is an amazing person. Eve is a great woman. She's educated. She's intelligent. She's well behaved. Why are you holding back? Okay, I want to believe you're holding back because you do not have a competition. Why would you say this? I mean, why are you sounding this way? But babe, why don't you go ahead and tell him that we've been working on one or two things? I mean, we've been trying to put ourselves together, you know. Have we? Oscar, you don't know what you have until you lose it. And trust me, I'm going to be very upset with you if another man takes this woman away. Nobody's taking her away from me. No one. But babe, I mean, you and I know that we've been working on things of late. So mm. uh, why don't you tell him that he's wrong? I mean, okay, you know what? I feel like there's something going on between both of you that you're not telling me. In the meantime, I'll just go get you some food and uh, what do you want? Don't worry, I'll, I'll ask the cook to come. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Why can't you just hide us in the presence of the prince? I mean, even if there's anything going on in between us in the secret place, why would you bring it out here? Are you serious? Yes! Really? He's not supposed to know anything about us. Not to that extent. And now he's thinking money is the problem, whereas you know money is not the problem. What's going on? What's the matter with you? Ever since we came in, you've been acting awkward. I tried to see downstairs, but you were working out of here. What? What is it? What is wrong with you? 
But why are you acting this way? What's the matter? What's the matter? You're asking me what the matter is. Is this, is this all I mean to you? Sex? Oh, why would you have to sound that way? I mean, what is wrong for crying out loud with me making out with my woman? Come on, baby, you don't have to go this way. Come on. Come on, Shara, baby. Oh, Oscar. When exactly do you plan to come and see my parents? Like, when do you plan to come and pay my bride price? Babe. What's, what's the matter with you? I thought we've talked about this before now. I thought all of this has been discussed. We have? Yes, we did. We've talked about this? Honey, I can tell you for sure that we did. Oscar, I want you to spell it out to me. Do we have a future together or you are all about wasting my time? Why would you say this? Oh, I see. Is it our visit to the palace that is bringing all of this up? No, go ahead and tell me. I, I want to know. Oscar, I have been with you for God knows how long. And people are beginning to talk. Well, the good thing about what he said right now is that the world are beginning to talk. So that means for the world to begin to talk, that means the world are quite familiar with our communion. Babe, can you please calm down? I mean, just calm down. Don't tell me to calm down! Don't, I, 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 because I can't wrap my head around why you're not talking marriage yet. What is it we've been together for this long? And you're not saying anything about settling down. Told you everything I needed to tell you. I ask you to give me some time that there is no way I can go this life without you. All I ask for is just for you to be patient with me. Give me some time. Oscar, how much time do you need? How much time do you need? How much time do I intend to wait? You want to know how much time you intend to wait? You're asking me, you want me to tell you exactly how much time you need to wait? Is it not worth our time? I love you and I've said this over and I keep saying it. I want us. I want you for kids. Oh, don't you understand that? I love you. Just give me some time, please. Oscar. I'm giving you three months to come and see my parents. Three months to come and pay my dowry. Else, I'll remove this ring from my hand and I'll throw it away and walk away. I'm not joking. And where do you think you're going? I'm leaving. Um, call my son, tell him breakfast is served. Okay, my hand. So what else did he say? Yeah, well, of course, um, he is going to give us the blueprint. But before then, I would even prefer you look at it and okay. see. Greetings, my friends. How can I help you? 
His Majesty sent me to fetch you. Why? What's wrong? Breakfast is served, my prince. Okay, I'll build them shortly. Wait. You called me. See me when you're less busy. Yes, my prince. The prince was still in bed when I got to his room. So you. Is he awake now? Yes, Your Majesty. Um, my knock woke him up. He will soon be here. I see. All right. You can go back to the kitchen. Get the plates. Uh, I don't think I'll be needing a lot of this. I don't like too much sugar. I'm, I'm glad you're saying it yourself. Doctors with so much prescription advice. Hmm. Son. Hi, Dad. Yeah, you're here. Yes, I am. Good. Hi, Mom. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yes. Great. Right. That's what I want. Okay. Some drink. No, the other one is probably free. Oh. This one? Yeah. And then, right. So that's what I want. Thank you. Uh, so, I would like you to be in the office today. Well, Dad, I only just got back. Can I get some rest first? Come on. And I don't mind. It's a devil's collateral. I want you to keep your body and mind busy at work. That's what I want. All right, Your Majesty, I think our son is right. Let him just rest. Oh. What we need from him now is getting a good wife well, for us. That's by the way, I need a bromage free bread. Can I <clears throat> have one pass it on? <clears throat> Tom, a please help. Bromage free bread. No, that's not the one I want. This oh, one. okay, the other one. Oh, it's close to you now. Out! 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 Out!
Sorry, my prince. I'd rather stand. Come and sit close to me. I want to have a talk with you. I'm sorry, my prince. I can't sit. Come here. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, listen. Wait, wait. L listen, just come close. I know you're afraid, but it's okay. Nothing is going to happen, okay? Just come here. Come here. Come close, come, come, come here. Sit down. Sit down. Okay? I'm not going to hurt you. You look like a little girl. You you are a little girl because I mean you're virgin, right? Oh, okay. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Oh, very well then. I can be your boyfriend. I'll take care of you. I am not interested. I'm sorry, my prince. I have work to do. Besides, if the queen comes in and see me here, she knows what she's going to do to me. Excuse me. I'm free at last. Yes. God, I thank you. Eh? Did you see how the prophetess was praying? Hmm? She brought St. Michael's yes. oil. She brought back to send that oil, mm -hmm. olive oil, yes. all the oils you can think of. Then she mixed it <laughs> and let it how it is. And the spirit eh, had no option that too. They yes. picked race. Also, I'm very, very happy that the spirit of stealing has returned back to where it came from. Ah! Thank God. Eh? Thank God. Congratulations. <laughs> Your daughter is at it again. What, what do you mean? That's the prophet. Hey! Zena! What is wrong with you? <laughs> so, you brought me out here yeah, to push your mommy? Stealing? Hey. Prophetess Bell? Hey! hey. Now, now, now tell I'm me. Warm. What do you want this for? All the time, you're shedding crocodile tears. You're crying. You're sorry. You're sorry. But you never change. What's the problem? I don't know what came over me. I'm God, what sorry. Come on, shut up. What came over you? Hmm. So why do you keep doing this to me? Why? I was here enjoying the flurry of joy and happiness. Thinking everything is over. Now... Oh, wow. See now. Hi. Hey. Oh, wow. See now. And I will be on it. for. Hey! My husband, we have no option. We have to return the bell. This bell, back to the prophetess now. Good. You and her will go and return the bell, not me. How As for me, I have somewhere I'm going. How do you mean? I am not going back there with you and her. I am going somewhere. Very important. Um, take this money for transport. Take this money, money for transfer. You. See you people at home. Have you seen what you have got? Eh? 
Have you finished? What is it? I'm sorry. Your mates are in the university. You were rusticated. Yeah. What is it? What's your problem? Eh? Look at me. Moving on the road. Look at that. Mama beautiful. How does this sound in your ear? Are you happy now? Look at your father. Look at the shame all the time. Yes. 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 And they tried to deliver him from stealing. Still, they steal. He came and carried my spiritual bell. Can you imagine? Can you? Ah. No problem. So you don't steal from me. No problem. That spirit of stealing where they inside you now small. By the time me info inside you, the spirit of blindness, madness, epilepsy, death, dumb. Oh, you know why I am a strong prophetess. That one way you do not smoke. I will deal with you. Me will deal with you. I will make you, you know, say that this place that you steal is a very wrong place for you to steal. You come steal from my holy ground. My holy bell, my holy bell. That I climb mountains. I go mountain, I fast, I fast, I go to a mountain, I climb and go and collect that bell. You come and steal it. That bell was here. It was here now, it's nowhere to be found. That spirit of stealing will come over your body. I go double lamp. In fact, I need to double spirit of devil inside you. You go there inside you so that you go there steal everywhere you go. And they go there beat you. They go there torment you. Hey! That was Did you say you are sorry? Your daughter have the mind to steal from the holy ground. You know even fear. You know fear. That's why I'm begging and happy. Please forgive. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. See this girl, where don't steal from this place. You know fear at all. You come steal. This bell, I know they collect her. Huh? My said, I will not collect this bell unless you give me the sum of 50,000 naira. Eh? Yes. What? Oh, 50. <laughs> eh? Please, my prophetess. Tampa justice with mercy. Yes, the bell now. I'm not doing any justice with mercy. There's no mercy for you. Do you know how I fasted? I'm prayed to fortify this bell. This is holy bell. And she carry it and go home. Sorry. Without the 50,000 naira accompanying this bell to this altar, I'm not collecting it. Eh? We can't afford such huge amounts of money, please. But you can afford stealing. That's you can afford stealing, you cannot afford 50,000 naira, Abby. No problem. Sorry. No. By the time I strike her with the spirit of blindness, eh? death, eh? no, <laughs> madness, please. even epilepsy. Hey! You go, no. Hi, Lord. Yes. Oh, please. Please. Please forgive her. Here's the bell now. Just yes. take the bell. We returned it. Please. I'm very angry now. I can even start the striking now. No, 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 don't start. I'm very angry. Don't start, oh. Now, drop that thing. Drop it there. Okay. Yes. If I change my mind, drop it. Now. Yes. Now, go home. Stand up from there and go home. Go, go. Come up for you. Thief. You know? Thief. Look at I climbed mountain. I fasted. I prayed. Just to fortify this bell. You come and carry it with your sinful hand. So my mother approaches me with seven different pictures of seven different girls. And she says to me that I have to pick one as my wife. Else, I won't be crowned the prince of this kingdom. Okay, so she says this is Frida, yeah, Frida is a pilot. Yeah, she said Frida is a pilot, okay? So, uh, she looks really good. Oh, she looks good. And she's a pilot. Okay, I'll just um, check her out and see what she has to offer. Oh. So my mother says this is Dr. Christie. Ooh, Dr. Christie. She really looks beautiful. So Dr. Christie. 
My mother says she's a medical doctor and uh, she studied at Oxford University. Hmm. She looks really brilliant, beautiful, elegant, smart. She has a good fashion sense. So I like the little girl, Oma, yeah, I like her, she looks very innocent, she appears really, really innocent, mm. but surprisingly my mother says she is very educated and I can see that she graduated from one of those northern universities. Mm. But why is she working in the palace? She must have been employed out of pity. Okay, so... Cassandra. Mm. She doesn't look bad at all. I think I should pay more attention to her. Hey, you come closer. I saw some behind your highness. Now what are you doing with my son? Nothing, your highness. What in God's name are you doing with the prince? I am doing nothing with the prince, your now highness. I'm going to ask you this for the very last time. So do not give me that crap again. What in the world are you doing with my son? I am doing nothing with the prince, your highness. You have nothing to do with my son, yet he's asking silly questions about you. Your highness, what kind of question is he asking? Can you swear that you have nothing to do with the prince of this kingdom? I swear by my late father's grave, I have nothing to do with the prince. Now you better listen. I have arranged seven beautiful class maidens from this kingdom for my son to pick one from them. You are nowhere close. Therefore, whatever feelings you nothing in your heart for my son should be bothered. Have I made myself clear? Yes, Your Highness. Now once the food is ready, you serve it and call us. Good afternoon, dear. How are you? All right, I called to find out if you're available. Um, not a problem. Just that my son returned, and uh, I would like you to come, you know, 
meet with him so both of you can get to know each other better. Oh, you'll be coming tomorrow. It's all right, no problems. I'll be waiting. Bye, Cassandra. Cassandra is not available. Hmm. Why don't I try Erica? Yeah, Erica. Hello, Erica. How are you? Tell me, how is work? So why didn't you return as promised? You just prepared your sumptuous meal for my son. He loved it. You can't believe it. He's asking after you already. He's in love. Are you for real? You're on your way to the palace. All right, my darling, I'm waiting for you. I can't wait to see you. My son will be happy. <laughs> All right, bye. This is so unfair. My mother went too far, surprising me with seven different women in seven different pictures. This is going to get me to trouble. I mean, if she had shown me like three or let's say four, it would have been so easy for me to pick one. But right now, I am totally confused. Come in. Hi. Hello. Who are you, please? <laughs> Did Her Highness not tell you about my visit? Um, your. You're Cassandra, right? The nurse midwife. Cassandra? Yes, Cassandra. <laughs> well, I am Erica. Oh, Erica, Erica. Oh, Erica, the TV presenter. Oh, nice. Please have a seat. Have a seat. Thank you. Sit down. <sighs> so, how are you? I'm fine. Oh, good. Mm. I was told you enjoyed my oha soup. Oh yes, I I had a taste of it. It it tasted really nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I hope you are as sweet as your oha soup. Uh -huh. I'm sweeter. Really? You're sweeter. Yeah. You're cute. Thank you for your kind words. And you're, you're gorgeous. Thank you. So, I was told you are a TV presenter. Yes, I am. That's good for you. <laughs> so, would you. you like to show me how you present? Sure. So, are you ready to present? To sure. How many TV stations have you presented? So many. So. Oma! 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 Yes, Your Majesty. What's going on? Where is my wife? My son? They are in the room. Majesty. Please remind my wife that I've been waiting at the dining. And please fetch my son too. Yes, Your Majesty.
Hey, what's wrong with you? Don't you know how to knock? My prince, I knocked. What do you mean you knocked? I didn't hear you knock. Besides, I didn't say come in. I'm sorry, my prince. The king sent me to call you. Lunch is served. Now get out. He said you should leave. Can you imagine? The Queen will soon be here. But what about my son? Your Majesty, the Prince is with a visitor. Guest. Well, well I've, I've dish out my food. Continue waiting. I don't need the water, I just need the You will not believe what I'm about to tell you. What? Our son Prince and Erica slept together. Yeah. Even as we speak, they are still in the room, in the bed, doing what I do not know. Jotem, why are you disturbed by the turn out of events? What were you thinking when you brought seven pictures of maidens for him? He's just simply flourishing with them, that's all. Flourishing with them? On their noses? What's this fuse all about? My goodness, I can't believe this. I'm highly disappointed. Erica, that I thought was a decent maiden of this land. I never knew that she would see a man at first sight. Then she would open her legs and sleep with a man. It's a shame. Come on, sweetheart. Don't allow these youngsters, you know, prick your blood pressure. Please. To think of this. Why would my son do this disgusting thing before his subject? It's shameful. Very shameful. You slept in this palace. I thought you left there yesterday. No, Your Highness. I slept here. So you are this desperate. I, I don't get Your Highness. How could you open your legs so wide for the prince? How? Your Highness, the prince and I will soon be getting married. There is nothing wrong sleeping with my soon-to-be husband. You call it soon-to-be? Not yet, your husband. For your information, I've got seven of you for him to pick one from. What? Of course you heard me. So you opening your legs for him immediately doesn't make you the chosen one. I expect you to be wiser. Your Highness, that wasn't the original plan. It's not adding up. You never told me there are six other girls in the picture. Well, you heard me now. But you recommended me for the prince. I sat let the same way I recommended the other sis. This wasn't what you told my parents. Well, you better deal with it. 
Ah, oh, excuse me. I have a guest now. I, I guess it's one of the selected maidens for the prince. Hmm. Your guess is as good as mine. Cassandra, sweetheart! Come, my darling. Good as always. Thank you, darling, and you too. Thank you. How are you? <laughs> Very well, sweetheart. All right, let me take you inside so you can see the crown prince, your future husband. Thank you. Come on, let's Here? go. Um, you know what? Let me see if I can help you get some no, things. No, don't Let me help you give us some things. Don't worry. Babe. Babe. I've been calling your phone since yesterday. You weren't picking up. What's happening? Because I do not want to pick. Something in me is telling me that you're still mad at me. Is it over what happened the other day? How best can I make you understand that you're the only human on this earth that I, I do I, not I, want I, to lose? Oscar, please. It's still very early in the morning and I can guess you're going to work. Please just leave. Why can't you see that I can't live this life without you, babe? I mean, losing you is like losing the air that I breathe. Can't you see that yourself? Listen, I'm sorry about whatever. Please, just give me some time to fix some things up. <laughs> the air that you breathe. Really. Please leave. Um, can I see you during lunch time? There is something he doesn't want me to know about. I am very certain. But something is hiding. Your Majesty, honestly, this girl's a bunch of disappointments. What is it? They're already making out. What? Is Prince Mother but she's stupid? Must he sleep with everything in skirt? I am highly disappointed. I can't believe our only son, the crown prince of this kingdom, has become a Casanova. Blame you in all of this. How? What did I do? I mean, I never saw it coming. Our only son is practically in a body count and mission with all the smeddens. You will not bring another woman for him. Well, I guess it's late. How do you mean? Of course. Even if we decide not to bring Medans again for him, he's got their contacts. He will still call them. I can't believe Cassandra 
is also cheap. I'm shocked. Of course, you know I saw Mother Buche is a ladies' man. I think we need to come in now. How do you mean? Of course, we need to get him. A good maiden for him to marry. Oh, that will and not work. And end all this madness. It will not work, my love. How do you mean? He's old enough to know what is best for himself. Your Majesty, you talk as if I care. I mean, I don't even need his consent before doing it. Oh, there you go again. You need to stop greeting me, you know that. What have I done? You don't know what you have done? No, my prince. I want a glass of orange juice. I'll be in my room. Make it quick. Mama. Mama. Mama, I need to go to the mall. I need to get stuffs for my two electrics. Mama, I'm talking to you. Anyways, I'll see you later. Your father and I have decided that you will not leave this house until we have unraveled the problem with you. So you're not going anywhere. Hey, Mama say I don't understand this thing. I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, but you don't let me go out now. You need to go and get stuff on my toiletries now. What's this? Zina, what's the problem with you? Do you want to kill yourself? Don't you know you are all we have got? When will this shame stop? In short, your father warned me to make sure you don't leave this house. So you're not going anywhere. Mama, what are you saying now? Hey, why are you locking me inside as if I'm a child? I'm not a child now. I need to go out and get stuff. Open the door. I said and I repeat myself, you are not going anywhere. This shame is enough. It's enough. Mama, you are locking me in my own father's house. In my own father's house, you're locking me. It's not fair. It's not nice. Zina, my dear, do you know what they now call your mother? Look at her. The mother of the pretty thief. The beautiful thief. That's not what I envisaged for you in life. You're not a thief and this must stop. Sit down. I know you're going to that mall to steal. Nothing else. So, Mama, this is house arrest, Abby. No, this is what we call it. Now. It's house arrest. It's house arrest that you're locking me. What kind of thing is this one now? Hi. Mama, this is not nice, though. This is not nice. It's not nice. Ikie, what brings you here? Uh, Eze Divya, mm -hmm. we are here because of my daughter. I want to find out what is wrong with her. Just hold on. Let me discuss with them that are with me here. Then I'll come back to you. Eke, what is you? What is you? They have come to make inquiry on what is wrong with their daughter. Oh, 
Ulubakwa ni igwe omani, ulubane otangane lafo. Igwe kane, wanye ziyoko. Eke uku gwa mwe ziyoko. Obobane gwa mwe ziyoko. Adema. Alright. Welote, Gugu, Kai wala wawa. Uti, 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 with you, okay. You should bring money for consultation. Five thousand. What is it? What is the problem? Let me know so that I can tell them. If they fought me, I will fought you. Mm-hmm. You're gonna man, no? Where are you? Mm-hmm. Is that all? I will know. Okay. Ichi. They are saying, now what is happening to your daughter? It's not man-made. Neither is it spiritual. <laughs> then what is it? On a jelly, guinea cobble. What is it? Just their need to. Hmm? Hmm? I'm not going to go high, no, no. What he's saying is that he has nothing more to say. Hey! Maybe I'm going to be a zoku. Maybe I'm going to be a zoku. We don't collect money for people and tell them lies. And we don't talk what's not true. Yeah. No. Yes, because of all the other places we've been to, mm -hmm. they said she is suffering from water spirits. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is other places. Not to be a joke. This is to be a joke. Ichi, do you have any other question? No. Oh. Yes, I I 
So what's up? Why haven't you started working at the family company? Uh, I've been very busy. Busy with what? Are there other businesses that you've ventured into that I'm not aware of? Yeah, I've just been busy with other stuff. I've just been very busy, yeah. Okay. Um, Oscar. Yeah. I wanted to tell you something. So my mother showed me seven girls in a picture. And she wants me to pick a wife. What? Seven girls? Yeah, sounds weird, right? Indeed ridiculous, bro. I know. <laughs> but I'm very disappointed. Why? They all lose. They all lose. No self-respect. No dignity. They see me and they go pants down. Wait, 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 wait. Why but I, I, I had my way. I, we had a thing. Ah, yeah. I knew it. So why don't you just come out straight and tell me that you've been sleeping and dumping the women? Instead of trying to beat around the bush. Oscar, I never said I dumped anyone. Because I know you very well. That's you your language, it. bro. That's your language, alright? We had we had a thing and that's it. But I, I was just disappointed because I I didn't expect them to, you know, give in that you know, that quick. So why are they giving you were busy using and dumping them? Anyway, um I know you very well. Oh, it's okay. Let me just quickly pee, excuse me. Ah, oh, I'm so pressed. Yeah, you know the rest of mine. Yeah, let me use all the, the way down yeah, to your right. Okay, let me use that one. Good. Oh, don't forget you have seven women at your disposal. Give me a break, Oscar. I know you very well. I know you. You're my man. I'll always tell you the truth. Here and there. Sorry. My prince, my prince, my one and only prince, next king of the kingdom. You've been sleeping and dumping them. Can you give me a break, bro? <laughs> That's impossible, bro. I need to tell you the truth. Ah, goodness. That reminds me, Oscar. What about Eve? How's she? Man, it's quite unfortunate, man. What's up with her? My my mom doesn't want me to marry Eve. Why is that? She doesn't want me to marry from her place. Do you know that my mom went as far as threatening to take her life should I marry Eve? What? It's that serious. Oscar, did your mom suddenly forget everything Eve did for her? This is really sad. But my mom is obsolete. My mom doesn't seem to be moved at all. I have pleaded with my mother. I have begged my mother. I have actually done everything a child should do to get their mom to concede into something. All prove abortive. Oscar, I'm aware Eve is a very good girl. Very good girl. She was well raised. Yeah. Well behaved. Your mother should have a rethink. I don't know. I don't know what she wants. Your mother should have a rethink.
Hello? Hi, Eve. Hello? Prince Maduabuchi speaking. Oh, my prince. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Um, I had wanted to call you. Oh, nice. That's nice of you. That means our minds work together. <laughs> I know, right? Um, I wanted to speak to you about something. Can you come over to the palace? Uh, you know, I'm very busy. Like, I'm a very busy person. I don't know. I'm not sure. You're busy? Okay. Alright, I'll just... I'll just make it brief, okay? Listen, I... I'm not comfortable with what's happening between... Yourself and... Oscar. I feel like... Things should get better. I don't know, my friends. I don't know. I mean, I've been with Oscar for you know how many years. I've been with him through thick and thin. I've been there in his darkest days. I don't know what he wants from me again. Yeah, I know that. And he's not talking about marriage. Listen, this is not my concern, actually. But then, I feel like you guys are my friends and I should get involved because I like you as a person. And I want the best for you. Did he tell you anything about his mother? No. What about her? Okay, I... I'm not in the right position to tell you anything concerning that. I want you to confront him and ask him questions. He needs to tell you what his mother thinks about you. My prince, is there something you know that you're not telling me? Listen, Eve, I know both of you love each other. And I'm aware you love him more. I want you to give him a second chance. And if he doesn't sit up and does the needful, I want you to make other decisions. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. I'm a beautiful teeth. Where there seems to be no way. He walking way we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my shield. Hold me closely to His side. With love and strength for each new day, He will make a way for me. He will make a way. My God, be me. Taking this call. Never. Oscar has a whole lot of explanation to do. He has to tell me what his mother is doing to me that I do not know. He has a whole lot of explanation to do. 
Stop calling my phone. You are at the shop. I've been calling your phone. You are not taking calls. What's going on? Please, I'm not caught out for all this, okay? I have work to get What has come over you? You and your mother has come over me. I don't get you. So, after Everything I did for you and your mother. This is how you choose to pay me back, huh? Your mother now thinks I am not good enough for you. Prince said this to you? Oh God. Prince, 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 why now? Prince, why? Oh God. Okay, um, here's the thing. It's not my making. As a matter of fact, my mother wanted me to marry someone else. She wants me to marry from my place. So why did you not tell me before now? Because I didn't want to. I don't even know what to say, but I don't want to break your heart. I am already heartbroken. I, 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 feel, I feel betrayed. I feel used. I'm sorry, please. Come on, I'm so okay. sorry. You're sorry? Sorry. What are you sorry for? I, I don't even know. The thing is, my mother is even threatening to take her life if I if I if I marry you. <laughs> wow! And you know I can't afford to lose her. Wow! Really? Really? Your mother wants to die. Your ungrateful mother wants to die. So she prefers you marry from your place. Is this okay? That's fine. If there's, no, it's okay. If there's something you don't know about this whole thing. You see, my mother is all I've got. We lost our father when we were so little. It's been our mother all the years. She single-handedly raised I and my siblings. How best can I explain this whole thing to you that I can't afford to lose that woman? She's all I've got. I, I don't want my mother to die all in the name that I caused it. I'm sorry. Get out. What? If. If. Did you just ask me to leave your shop? You heard me. Leave. Just, just, just give me some time and let's. Get out! 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 Marry your mother! It's my daughter, that's Zina's voice. Wait, she, she's calling me for help. Zina! Zina! Where is it? Zina! Where is my daughter? Where is she calling me from? Zina! 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 Oh, somebody help me, please! Somebody help me! Hey, so please! So please, please, don't come and help me, please! Wow! Finally, you have been trapped. Hey! No! So please, I beg you, come and don't tell me! My aunt are dying, please come and help me! Wow! Please, I beg you, I beg you, please! Just come and, come and, come and don't tell me, please, I beg you! You deserve to die here so that people of this town will rest for you. Hey, no, 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 please, I swear I'm innocent. I'm innocent of everything. Please come and outside, I beg you. I cannot. I cannot. Please. You deserve to die here. Please, please, I beg you. Sir, please don't go. Don't go, don't go. Please, I beg you. Don't go. Hey. hey. <laughs> Somebody help me. Somebody help me! Mama! 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 Mama!
It's a dream. A dream? Hi. What happened? Zina. What about her? I saw her daughter tied up under a tree. And she was virtually reaching out to me and begging me to come and untie her. The more I tried, the tighter I tried. I tried, but I could not. She kept on crying and beckoning, saying, Mommy, Mommy. Oh, oh, my husband, her daughter is in trouble. She needs help. We have done virtually everything we can. What else are we going to do? Oh, God, please. All I ask for is for her to be like her okay. mates. Okay. Let her be like her Stop mates. Stop stressing yourself out. I don't want to lose it's your okay. little child. It's okay. She's all we've Please, got. Sit up. Let's go to the bedroom. Sit up, sit up, sit up. Hi. Sit up. Hi. Sit up. Hi. Hi. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, stop calling me. I'm trying to make a call. What? He's busy my call? Hey, listen, my business with you is over. Don't call me again. Shh. Like, seriously? I think I have to go to the palace. I have to go there right now to know why he's busy my call. Because I, I don't understand. After enjoying the woman in me, he think he can use me and dump me. No. I have to go there right away. Hi. Um, is this Freda? Hello. Am I speaking with uh, Frida? It's nice to have you here. Are you really going to end the call on the prince? Yes, my name is Prince Madabuchi. Yes, I was told. I was told you're a pilot and you you fly everywhere. That's good news. So how do I see you? When are you coming over this side? Oh, that's sad. In that case, I'll come over to see you then. The more reason I should see you. Listen, Lagos is just 45 minutes from here, alright? I can jump on the next available flight and uh, I'll see you. How about that? Alright then, see you later.
Erica, what's the fuss about? Why are you so mad? Why are you so angry? You tried to call me. I ended the call because I was trying to make another call. You tried to call again. I ended your call. I mean, that should tell you that I'm busy. If you're sensible. What busy with what exactly? Busy sampling the seven maidens your mother got for you. Is that it? I beg your pardon. Where's that coming from? What do you mean by that? If you think you can use and dump me, then you have another thing coming. So I'm trying to understand where you're coming from. So what's... What do you mean, use and dump you? Is that the situation here? I don't think so. Alright, let me paint a clearer picture so you can understand. You met a good-looking guy. You obviously fell in love with him. You threw yourself at him. You had sex with him. And um, that's our story. Nobody's bullying anyone like you claim. It's very simple. You're not the one for me. You cannot be the one for me. So you need to stop stalking me. Like seriously? Yeah. I am stalking you. You are stalking me. Listen to me. You cannot be my wife. If I see my wife, I'll definitely know her. A cheap, loose, dirty girl like you cannot be my wife. I'm sorry. How about Cassandra? You slept with her also, right? Cassandra? Um, yes, we had sex, but... You're all the same. Loose and dirty. She can't be my wife. All of you are the same. Yeah. I promise you, you're going to regret this. Regret what exactly? Wait, you don't understand, right? I'll paint a better picture for you to understand. Did I force you? No. Did I rape you? No. Did we have sex? Yes. Did you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Did we have consensual sex? Of course, yes. Are we adults? Hell yeah. So what are you talking about? Your mother carefully got girls for her Casanova son to be sleeping with. Oh. But I'm going to promise you one thing. The royal family will not get away with this. Excuse me. Well, everyone is entitled to their opinions. But, did I force you? No. Did I rape you? No. Did we have sex? Yes, we did. Are we adults? Of course we are. Did you enjoy it? Hell yeah, you did. And um, did I enjoy it? Mm. I'm not flattering you. You are actually the most beautiful girl I have seen in a while. The most beautiful girl with the ugliest character, you mean? That's not true. It's not your fault. No one has the right to judge you. Okay? I don't know. I, I just feel as though my hands are crossed. No. You're totally wrong, Zina. You're not cursed. Speaking about your situation, I had... I had a conversation with the doctor. We spoke extensively about you. Yes. Okay, which is... The doctor confirmed you are 